<laughs> Hello everyone. We have Saturday and uh, it's half ten. I woke like one hour, ten, half, half hour ago. And I've done some packing. Mm, I didn't sleep well, must say, because uh, I don't know, that was like a little uncomfortable place. I don't know why. And now it's raining, so... Yeah, I will have to pack my tent with rain, in rain, so yeah, it's okay. I've done some preparing of food, so today we have another type of sausages. <laughs> and of course I have already made coffee, which is standing there. And I hope the clouds and the rain are not gonna destroy my views today, but I'm pretty sure they will. But I hope they won't. I have planted some great rows here and uh, I hope they're gonna be good. And it stopped to, to rain. So it's great. Now I can pack up. <laughs> so uh, I think it's gonna be a great day. The weather should be much better now. Or not. Norway, you know. <laughs> But uh, I plant great roads for today, uh, some plateaus, some... Uh, I think we now we are very close to Norway's longest, Setterdalen, uh, which I don't know what, me, what it means, so Norwegian please explain to me in comments, because we are going to Einundalen uh, now and later, I don't remember, I have to check it, but it's gonna be a great day. This is a great idea for wild camping. There is some like a little bottle with soap or whatever you want to have it here to wash your hands or, or uh, some stuff. There are two liters of water and it's very handy if you are wild camping because you can wash your hands after a wild toilet and wash your stuff after eating. It's great. So really, really recommend you. We bought it in Poland because, and it cost like three euros, so it's nothing. We are using it second year now and it worked like a charm. And we took it with us to Alp Tour this year. And when I was pumping wheels or something, then I, I had uh, dirty hands, I could wash it. So there, this is wonderful idea. So you can, you can use this in your trips too. Our first road today is Svavalen. Let's see if it's nice. And guys, this road appeared to be just a normal gravel forest road. What we are seeing now is how this road looks on its whole length. There are few nice views on the lake and the landscape around it, but nothing special. A good idea if you want to avoid asphalt riding, but I think it's much better to hit the main road and get to Einundalen much quicker. So, we are done with Svavalen. I would give this road 2 on a 10 scale. There are, I think, many better places here in Norway. And like this one, I hope, because this is also my first timer. And this is Einundalen. It's Norway's longest Setterdalen. And from what I heard, uh, it means that in the bottom of the valley, there are like uh, farms and uh, on the uh, mountains, there are houses uh, with, uh, where shepherds hold their uh, sheep herds. So please, Norwegian, write me if I'm wrong or not. And this road costs 100 korons for all uh, cars, motorcycles, for everyone. And here is a map and you can see how, whoa, how this road looks like. Uh, we are here. This is the beginning. And from there, the, all this uh, red, red color are uh, toll roads, which means they are paid. But I don't know if they are paid once here. And there are some extra pays uh, on uh, each detour. We're gonna check it. 
maybe I'll write some of, of those because they looks uh, very nice and very long. Uh, this road, just the main road, has 50 kilometers. And maybe we'll sh see some other places today. It looks really great. They are so afraid. <laughs> they are waiting. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Why are you running? Oh my god. Go on the side. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes, thank you. <laughs> We are on the end of the first detour. The road there goes like one kilometer more and there is a farm. So you have to come back. And this place is wonderful. It's just a detour, like five kilometers off the main road, but it's great. Wonderful views already. And it's uh, like seven or eight such detours. And it, this is not the longest one. So I really recommend to book a whole day of your trip for this road if you're ever gonna come here, because it's worth it. This road is great, really. Einundalen, worth every penny. <laughs> and there are so many detours and so many nice spots to take a night, for example, or whatever. It's wonderful here. And that quiet, that nature here. It's pure Norway. It's just like a little piece of Norway that's it's perfect. if you guys are gonna see this but uh, we, from here we can see how this road goes all along almost on the top there
Okay, I have spent already too much time here and from what I'm seeing there where is this foggy look there is rain let's go Woo! My road goes directly there and the rain went there. So you see this, whoa, this uh, foggy cloud. It's rain. Ha, huh, I'm a lucky bastard. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is the end of my luck with the rain because uh, I don't exactly know where my road goes but I see rain clouds everywhere around me like there is just rain so I think I I will put my rain my hate I hate this <laughs> but my raincoat ah. This road is great, guys, I think it's on the same level as Grimsdalen and believe me, it's really high at my scale, so perfect, worth every penny, wonderful road, wonderful mountains, very unusual landscape, the, the road is really, really long, it's like 50 kilometers for just, for just 100 knock corons, it's nothing. But the nature here is wow. I just hate it. Okay. If I would know that I am gonna be on this road so long. <laughs> I would come here earlier. <laughs> I didn't thought about this road as a great one, but this is one of the best I have ridden here so far. Really, really great. So I made like 500 meters and I have to stop again because I want to take a picture of us <laughs> That's crazy That's crazy. I hope that starter uh, in my motorcycle is gonna make this trip <laughs> Because it's devastating <laughs> This road is killing me 